first thing that my dad told me when I told him I want to go and open a kopi tiam store. He said, you see how Hi guys, my name is Han. This is my fiancé, Chelsea, and we are both the owners of number 25 Minced Meat Noodle. We are located at 161 Bukit Merah Central at Treasures uh, Coffee Shop. Yeah. We wanted to do something more traditional flavoured with our 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 batomi. So we infuse like the tipo, very 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 traditional batomi flavour into our soup and. We want to do something different, more modernized and stuff. So I, uh, we did like a very thick pork bone broth with like the chicken feet and everything very, very gelatinous, very a lot of collagen. And then we infused like the tipo. That's that's sort of our special version of our batom. Everything in our shop, including the la, the, the the chili base, the, the the soy base sauce that we use, the fried garlic, everything we cook from scratch. And it's through a very long and others uh, R&D. We took about a year to actually finalize the recipe. To until until we 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 wanted to, we wanted to make sure like everything was perfect. It tasted perfect before we start start selling our noodles. It, what 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 got me into the M and B industry in the first place? I I just graduated from secondary school at that time, and I was looking around for a job and somehow it landed I, I landed myself in my first actual F and B job. I was working in like a casual American diner back then in the kitchen and I was just like any other teenager. Like I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I didn't like to study and I actually felt like I had passion for cooking ever since I stepped into the kitchen. And I've been helping my mom. She was actually the first person to teach me how to cook when I was really, really small. Yeah. And after stepping into the kitchen professionally, I felt like <coughs> that, that is what actually sparked me to enter this industry. My biggest challenge so far, I think, rising food costs definitely one of them. The food costs are rising, but we cannot increase our price or price our food too highly because uh, people will not accept it. Lah. Then we, we still have to think about what people want to pay for what they eat in a coffee shop. And it's very physical, physically uh, stressful on us. Yeah, and even though, even though I've been working in kitchens, this is another level. It's really another level. Like, it's really hot, humid. Then there are days where the sun is really like, like, like crazily hot. She even she she puked like a few times in the shop. Really, like not not kidding. Like, it, it's that bad. Yeah. Our yeah our our name number twenty five is actually our. It's our the day where we got together and our engagement day. And next month. On the 25th, it will be our wedding, uh, wedding, our wedding ceremony, our ROM. Lah. Yeah. So it, we just wanted to think of something that will mean, mean uh, it will mean something to us before we, like, we open the business. So yeah, it just, it, it's quite easy to remember. So, so. <laughs> yeah, and she, she's always scared that I'll forget our anniversary. Lah, so I just named it after our anniversary. <laughs> our parents react differently, very very differently. Uh, her parents are very supportive. They actually actually our whole family like they, they, they did come down and help and stuff la. like some of our shelves and stuff they helped to drill. The uncle come down in the early morning to like drill the shelf for us and everything. Yeah. Very kampong spirit. Yeah kampong spirit. La. But the very 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 first thing that my dad told me when I told him I want to go and open a kopi tiam store. He said you see how yeah. He said it's very very tough la, and he he did try to warn me of uh, how tough it will be. But in the end, I'm stubborn la, so yeah. Mm, very. <laughs> yeah. And my parents, they, they were supportive also, but a bit more like um, cautious, cautious in a sense. But they didn't stop me from doing it, which, which I, I was happy that 
we actually receive a lot of support from both our families. Yeah. I used to sit in the office. I used to be the one scolding people and now I'm the one getting scolded. So yeah, it's very, very different. But I felt like I could be there with him doing something of our own. Like we can build something from nothing. You know? Yeah, that's the main reason why I decided to bite the bullet and say, okay, let's go. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of uh, plans for the future and we, we, we want this to run as long as, as it can uh, because it's our, it's our first baby uh, then we, I, I don't think anything would actually make us feel like closing it or I mean if it's something we put a lot of effort uh, in, into together and I, I don't think it's something that we would actually want to give up in the future. Yeah.